my garbage person of the week is true garbage. It's a little bit subtle, but I want you to take a look at this truth that Trump sent out. It's just a link to an article on Stool Sports talking about one of his lawyers, Alina Haba. The fact that he is promoting one of his employees is not the problem. It is that she works for him. And this is the content of the article. So when you go to that article on Barstool Sports, you quickly get an idea of what the point of it is. In the most nonpartisan way possible, let me say Trump's lawyer, Lena Haba, is the kind of attorney who can fight my battles anytime. And all of the text seems up on the up and up, talking about her qualifications. But as you go through with the images, you start to get an idea that the guys at Barstool Sports are interested in her for a different sort of reason. We can continue through these images so people can see. They're mostly just embedding images from her Instagram or whatever. And there is nothing wrong with any of this from the point of view of Elena Haba's social media activity. But when it's the guy who employs you, who is spreading this, it seems to me to be a little bit weird. I don't know, Brett, I, maybe I'm becoming like overly like a prude or something now yeah. that I'm a dad. Am I wrong that it's weird for a boss to do that? Uh, only if that person does not welcome it, period. That's it. It's And it, it, it gets into someone who's <laughs> fresh off his training on this. Um, he, there's definitely things where uh, like, okay, well, there's two things here. There's the barstool sports people who are like, oh, she's a hot girl. That's fine. That's, an, I mean, do it. I don't care. She, uh, I think there is probably a certain effectiveness in uh, having like a super duper hot trial lawyer give your opening and closing statements in certain situations because it might distract if you have like a misogynistic, a crappy uh, person on the other side, right? Mm -hmm. um, so there's all kinds of ways where this is not problematic. It's and maybe she, she got the job knowing Trump's past. He picks people based on whether they're in central casting fit for the job. And he's just probably like says stuff like, yeah, she's a real knockout. If she knows that and she's cool with that, then it's fine. If is Donald Trump displaying like the ideal situation and the ideal interaction on social media between someone who is a client and the person they employ to be their representation? Absolutely. Positively, lutely not. It is possible that she's cool with it, though. Yeah, I don't know. This is like it's entirely possible that she, she's obviously cool with any of these individual images. She put them on her social media, but that doesn't mean that context doesn't matter. Like I could have a co-host on the show who regularly posts, you know, images on Instagram in bikinis or whatever. That's totally fine. That's for them to do. If I'm then constantly reposting them, that's definitely weirder. Is that not weirder? It yeah, but you don't know. You don't have enough information to know if they're having that discussion. You don't know their you know, relationship. Again, like, there's I am not like saying it's unacceptable from the point of view of Alina Haba. I'm saying I find this to be icky. Is what I'm saying. I mean, it's icky because it's Trump, right? But like, like, like finds like. He probably. I mean, I don't know. I just here's what I hate. Like, I hate overall people being made to feel uncomfortable in their workplace. Obviously, I yes. hate that. I think it's bad. I've seen people do it. It's horrible. Um, I ne In those situations, you should check with the person. I mean, and this is the actual guidance is you should find a way. You can report it to HR so that they look into it. You can find a way to communicate with the person who's affected so you're not accidentally going out over your skis and making it worse for that person. That's yeah. a real piece of advice they give you. Don't make it worse for the person. And I had this guy, his friend, my, this guy I know back in, in college, we were at a bar and there were the bar girls with the Jägermeister. And the way he talked to them was so condescending. Like, is this terrible for you? Is this horrible for you? And it was like, they were having a fine time. And they were like, no, I don't mind this job. I like this job. But the this like weird crusader, like, morality police that where you're fighting other people's fights where they don't want you to fight them for them. Like the instinct to be a good person is good, but sometimes the execution <laughs> is just so weird. And like, it's, it's not for that other person, it's for you. Or you're revealing that you have a horrible opinion of this person who's doing this job because you think that that's degrading when to them, they don't think it is. And my instinct with Alina Haba is, she might think that certain people she interacts with are are kind of gross, but oh my god, we're way over. But yeah, yes, she might very like much it. are. Yes, so um, I don't have time to rebut the idea that I am a weirdo moral crusader. We'll Not get yet. to that on next Friday's possibly. edition, um, possibly. But anyway, might um, I might be.
I do want to let you know that 50,000 people voted for the community garbage person of the week. And I'm just going to let you know that an even 50% said that it's the Ohio GOP for trying to undo abortion issue one that passed. Uh, it shows that they don't care about the people that that issue would affect. And it that also shows that they don't care about democracy. So they earned that status. Thank you to the many of you who voted.